Hey guys, welcome to our channel, J&J Miller Real TV here on YouTube. Um, today I am going to make some Vietnamese uh, spring rolls. Uh, one of my favorite things to eat, I absolutely love Vietnamese spring rolls. And when you go to a Vietnamese restaurant, you can usually get two of them as an appetizer and they're like seven or eight bucks for two rolls. So I'm gonna show you today actually how to make them. And this will make, I want to say, probably about two dozen um, for uh, probably $25 or so. So um, let's get started on them. All right, guys, so I want to start with the dipping sauce. Um, I make a peanut soy garlic dipping sauce that is really, really good with these. And so let's run through the ingredients for the dipping sauce real quick. I've got about a half a cup of creamy peanut butter here. I've got about um, two tablespoons of sesame oil, toasted sesame oil here. Here I have about two tablespoons of honey. I've got about two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. I've got two tablespoons of soy sauce. And I've got about a tablespoon of minced garlic. This was about four small cloves that I minced up. So all you have to do with the sauce is just mix all these six things together. You don't cook it, you just mix it together and that's going to be the sauce for our spring rolls. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna start with our peanut butter. Again, I've got about a half a cup of creamy peanut butter here. Uh, about four small cloves of garlic that I minced. It's about a tablespoon, I guess. I've got about two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar here. Two tablespoons of soy sauce here. two tablespoons of um, toasted sesame oil here. I'm sorry, one tablespoon of toasted sesame oil. And then I've got about two tablespoons of honey here. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna put all of this in the bowl, we're gonna mix it up, and that is going to be our dipping sauce for the rolls. Again, we don't cook this, we just mix it up. And it could, you know, it, it can be a little bit of a challenge with the peanut butter in there. But you just keep stirring it and it will eventually uh, blend and mix in. Start out with little stirs so you don't slop it all over everywhere. And then you can see as it starts to incorporate everything, uh, it actually is not that difficult to mix after a minute or so. Now, if this gets too thick, which it may after it sits for a while, it may get too thick, you can just add a little bit of water in with it and that'll thin it out a little bit. But that's really all it is for your dipping sauce. Just mix it up. And then right here in front, I've got some crushed peanuts. Let me get this stuff out of the way here real quick. In front, I have some crushed peanuts and all I do with them is I just kind of put those on top and there you have it, the dip for our Vietnamese spring rolls. Okay guys, so let's start here with the shrimp. I've got a pound of large shrimp. They're cooked, deveined, peeled. And then what I did was typically they would look like this. And so I just turned them this way and I sliced them in half like this, okay? So we've got about a pound of shrimp here I've got right here some basil, my favorite herb. I love basil, I love the smell of it, I love the taste of it, it's just a wonderful, wonderful herb. Back here I have some cilantro, fresh cilantro. Here I have some fresh mint, another, oh, it just smells wonderful, and it's wonderful in these uh, spring rolls. Over here I took about a half a cucumber and I julienned it, julienne, uh, Cutting just means you cut them up like matchsticks here. So I've got some julienned cucumber, some julienned red pepper, and julienned carrots here. We're gonna put all of this in the rolls. Over here, I have my rice vermicelli, and this is like rice pasta. Um, it's not made uh, out of flour or eggs or anything like that. It is rice, and so you buy these 
and it comes really hard and brittle in the package. And all you do is you just get a bowl of hot water and you let it soak in the hot water until it's pliable like this. And so we are gonna put these, uh, this, these rice noodles in the, um, egg, uh, the spring rolls as well. And then back here, I just have rice paper. Um, rice paper, it's very, very thin, very, very um, delicate. There we go. So the rice paper for the rolls, you can hear it. Uh, it's very brittle. If you bend it, it breaks like that. So what you do for the rolls, I'll show you in just a second. But um, so this is what you want. This is the actual uh, roll for the spring rolls. But you don't want them to leave them in there too, too long because they are very delicate and they will tear when you start wrapping them up. So, there we have our work surface with our two wraps. So, we're gonna start with three little half shrimps here. I'm gonna put them down closer to you. And then we're gonna put, right? And then we're gonna put some vermicelli noodles in there. We're gonna put just a couple carrot sticks and a couple red bell pepper sticks and a couple cucumber sticks. I'm gonna put a little bit of cilantro. We're gonna put a couple mint leaves in there. We're gonna put a couple basil leaves on there and now comes the time to roll it up. This is where it takes a good skill to roll these things up. You wanna roll them up as tight as you can roll them. Roll the sides in like that, okay? And then you just roll them up as tight as you can get it. And there you have your spring roll. I am down to my last spring roll. So I'm gonna get the rice paper wet here. Um, I think I gauged pretty well on my stuffings because I got just a few carrots left, the peppers and the cucumbers. I've got a little bit of mint left, some basil. I used all of my cilantro and I used all of my shrimp. One thing I wanna say about the shrimp, I've got uh, seven, 14, 15, 17, 19, 20, there's 20 here, this will be 21. I ate three, Joel ate one. So that's about 25 that this batch made. Now what I did though, the shrimp will only make about a dozen of the rolls. And I only had one, uh, one pound of shrimp. So if you wanted enough shrimp to do all two dozen, then you would need to get uh, two pounds of shrimp. But you know, some people are allergic to shellfish. Some people don't like shell, shellfish. Uh, those crazy people that don't like shellfish, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know what's up with them. But we're just going to kind of throw the rest of this stuff in this last one. Um, that way we use up all of our crunchy veggies. Uh, we'll put some mint in there. We'll put some basil in there. We'll roll this bad boy up as best we can because it is just kind of the last one that's kind of thrown together. Oh, it's, it's gonna roll up pretty well. You tuck all that in there, roll it up, and there we have our last one. So again, I've got seven and five is 12 that have shrimp in them. And then these two, this row and this one do not have shrimp in them. So all together it made 25 and about half of them have shrimp, half of them do not. Spring so rolls, um, used up pretty much everything that I have. Uh, I'll use this mint and some tea later on. I always use basil for things. Basil is my favorite herb, so I'll have plenty of uses for it. And so there you go. We're gonna have them here in a second. Mm. Mm. 
the mint and the basil and the cilantro with the peanut dipping sauce. Just incredible. So much flavor. So many different flavors going on there. Guys, if you got the patience to do the rolling, these are incredible. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. Catch you if later. If you like the video, please just subscribe. Click the bell button to get future notifications of our videos. Be sure to like it, share it, comment on it, and uh, we will see you next time. Catch you later.